All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to some more Mega Aquarium. Uh, last episode, my friends, in case you've missed it, is linked above for you right now. Make sure you go check that one out, uh, get caught up, and then come back to this. Basically, today, we're just going to continue working our way through um, with the research, with the, um, you know, researching the animals, researching the bits and bobs that we need for the aquarium, and then, um, you know, hopefully, eventually, we're going to start unlocking some stuff that will help us make the... Uh, uh, aquarium even more efficient than it already is but uh, let's just get quickly caught up i'm just gonna pause this um just so i can get caught up because it's been a couple of days um since i've been on and since i've taken a look at the aquarium so over here we've got um yes we've got a couple of uh, big species of fish there uh, i think that was the last thing we sort of added last episode if memory serves me correct over here we got uh, this stuff. I think we were researching some other bits and bobs to go in there. Um, so yeah, I sort of know where we are. I think um, the moray eels are there. We've got our fresh fish over this side. Yes, lovely job. Right, let's just continue basically, ladies and gents, uh, to crack on then. Let's just tackle these messages first. Um, so we've got a wealthy benefactor. He wants us to build a tank with guppies in. That's annoying because we've already we've already got it um, but if I was to do this again oh no that's fine that's good we can just accept that then that's a lovely job the coral grouper has grown and then we've got some reef squirrel fish have been made available to us um, these would actually make for a good addition with uh, a, a species we've already got so let's just say that's a deal whether or not we put all five in I'm very much doubt um, because I don't know if we're going to have the room 4, 8, 12, 16, I need to check, oh we're going to have to build a different aquarium for them, we're going to have to build a different aquarium for them, um, because they have to be, they're a shoaler, so they need to be in a tank that's big enough, um, I might make this tank over here bigger, that's what I'm thinking of doing, so that we can do, do just that. Um, let's put that back. We'll leave them there for now, but I think we're going to make this tank here bigger because um, where there are species that don't like the light, they'll fit perfectly with these two. But let's get this playing. Let's get this moving along because obviously we are researching. So we are... Um, about 140 prestige points away from unlocking the next section um, and this will be uh, a really interesting thing to unlock obviously we're going to get these bigger aquariums um, we're going to get some more starfish and corals and that sort of stuff so that's going to be really cool to try and unlock that at the moment we're trying to work our way through the research um, we're doing the protein skimmer at the moment we've got this lagoon tank as well and then we've got these large filters and then as far as the uh, animals are concerned we're currently doing the disco mushroom uh, but we'll slowly work our way through all of these uh, let's just check that we do have at least one of everything in our aquarium so far uh, so far so good yes we do and there we go uh, the protein skimmer has now been researched and we will just start work on the heater um, I think I'm just going to get that done because um, that's been dirty for quite a while now um, so basically, ladies and gents, what you can do with the protein skimmers is when your water quality needs to be higher, you can add the protein skimmer to it and it will basically help do that. Um, it helps you achieve a higher quality of water uh, rather than the bog standard that you that you just kind of get. The, what you have to understand, the more fish you add, um, the dirtier the water can get quicker as well. But uh, We've been going for a while now and I've not really done anything have I so let's try to move this along a little bit right we're going to do this tank here we're going to make this tank bigger um, because I'd like to get those um, other fish in so we're just going to extend this down here a little um, we'll just take that as well um, take that wall out this is going to kind of do like a loop and come back around this way. Um, it's kind of how I'm loosely planning it. So, um, yeah, it won't matter that we take this down to this point. Take that out and take that piece out there as well. Right, nice. Um, 
So, we want to move this out the way a moment, and we're going to build this exact tank, but we're just going to make a bigger version. We're going to transport everything over, uh, do it that way, I think. It will be easier to do it that way. So, we're basically going to do the biggest one that we can, I think. Um, so, let's just move this out the way and put this one in its place. Right, um, we can still do this, we can still do this. I'm going to delete this piece of wall out because it doesn't really need to be there anyway. Still going to look nice, we've still got that piece of wall plush there so we can get our items in here. It'll be great once we get these pumps, um, we can really make this a lot more efficient because we won't have to have the pumps right next to the tanks. Um, but yes, let's... Um, Let's select this, we are going to, that's not what I wanted to do, um, we're going to select these, all this stuff, and we're just going to move it all. So that's going to go there, I'm going to put this one in here, we're going to take this, and we're going to rotate, put it there, just so it all looks the same, all works exactly the same. Um, I'm going to take a look at the pumps and see if we've got any bigger, anything bigger in a moment. Uh, that might be a bit more efficient than these things uh, here. Um, so, we do have the big combi, which should be able to service this aquarium. I think it's going to service both. Right, we want it to service this one. Yes, that's going to be able to do it on its own. So, yeah, we'll go with that, and then we will delete that nice job nice job nice job uh, so there we go those guys have been transported over and we can now um, because this tank should be uh, yeah we can have up to 30 fish in here now which is great so we can now go over here and we're going to place all those guys in there that's a lovely full up tank that's uh job well done that is there's two spots left um in there should we want to put anything else but uh yeah that's uh that's decent right let's press apply and uh that's more fish so just so you can see the squirrel fish will get us research which is great to see um that's something that we are obviously using a lot of as time goes on and each fish gets us free prestige as well every time they're seen by the guests so um Something I've been learning as I've been playing the game, ladies and gents, is these walls here, you're better off deleting them out. Even though I want to keep wall, uh, you know, rooms separate and stuff, you're actually better off deleting these out because they take up more room than just these um, pieces of wall that you can put in yourself. So um, I am just going to quickly pause this and I am going to remove these walls. Um, we're just going to we're going to replace uh, some of these walls with the wall pieces that uh, are in the game basically um, because you just have you get more space that way um, we're actually losing space by leaving the big chunky walls in so we're just going to go around the edge of the toilet so um, that's that done and then we will come down this way and we'll put it to there and then here we'll come to oh, we'll come to there we're going to move this bench um, so that's not a problem so yeah we'll come to there and then we're going to delete all this out we're going to redo this as well all right so let's get the wall piece um where do we want to go with this to there maybe up to here and then we're going to leave two we're going to leave a doorway spot of two and we're going to leave enough room for them to walk around and then uh, we're going to move that bench in there for now um and that will do nicely uh, so yeah you can see we've gained like a square basically of of space by doing that and um slowly i will do it as we go around uh, the aquarium as well but it's just something i've learned from just playing the game on my own and um it's just a bit more efficient doing it that way um i will also introduce you know like i will introduce you to stuff like the different decorations on the walls and stuff you can have i'm leaving it pretty basic at the moment because i'm trying to raise our money up and just research as much stuff um, as possible now i am going to add something in this tank that we've not really added in anything else but i'm going to add like a decoration i think the anchor 
might look quite nice in a, in this tank as it is a little bit bigger. So we're going to put the uh, the anchor there like that. And that will give us prestige um, as well, the anchor, inside that aquarium. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a lovely stocked aquarium, that one. So let's continue to push on, ladies and gents. And maybe while we're waiting for stuff to research, we can do a bit of tidying up. So um, let me remind myself of where we are and what we've got. Now, these are the ones I was on about. These pumps um, will service the bigger ones, uh, I should say, that will service more than one aquarium. So what it is you do, you would place them. You can see that little, you can see that little sort of like, uh, the way it's sort of um, made the floor discolored, that little diamond around it. So that's the surface um, area that it can cover. So as long as the aquarium is inside that, you can link it to that aquarium. The great thing about these is, is that when you get the larger ones, you can link that to two aquariums. And then off that, you can place the pumps next to it. Those pumps will service both aquariums and you can just use your space up more efficiently. And that's really what we're gonna be working towards. Um, in the next sort of like episode or two so that we can uh, we can make things even more sort of like efficient um in in the uh, on the series and in this aquarium so we're just getting rid of all those messages and yeah at the minute we're kind of we're stuck between a rock and a hard place because we're waiting for research uh before we really take this any further um we've got our fresh water area around here haven't we so i do need to remember that um Okay, we've got our first coral. That's quite exciting, actually, getting our first coral. And I'm going to research the crab next, because I think the coral and the crab might be a cool thing to have um, in an aquarium together. So, I know I keep pausing it, but I do this because the guests, honestly, will walk down here the minute that, um, the minute that I delete this. So, I'm going to just do this the same way I've done the other bit, and we're going to make this a bit more efficient um, as well now. This is a little overkill having this door here and here. Um, I'm going to move that door there. Um, and then we're just going to fill that in right there. That makes more sense to do that. Um, so that's that done. Um, what else do I want to do while I'm here? Um, I think... We will delete all this out and we'll redo this as well. Why I'm here, why we got it on pause, we'll just square this off, basically. Um, yeah, nicely done. Um, we could probably fit some stuff in this gap now that I've done that. Um, I am actually going to move that vending machine into this gap. Right there. And we'll leave the bins where they are for now. But yeah, we're just going to move that there. Um, I think that looks a little bit better. Obviously, we've got this one over here as well. So they are quite close now. But uh, yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do. Let's leave this playing. So yeah, just tidying areas up, basically. And the reason I'm doing this as well is I'm starting to make these areas slightly bigger because of when we start doing the new pumps um, because of the space that we're going to need now I don't like the way they are so let's move that there and that there so they're out the way so we've got this this I just need to double check everything it's been it's so funny how you don't play a game for a couple of days and then when you come back you're like oh what did I do how far am I um, yeah I like it I like it I like the way it's looking so We've got the coral researched. Now, the thing about coral is they need light, ladies and gents. So I do just need to double check. We do have a basic light. So let's set um, a coral aquarium up, I think. I'm actually thinking of doing a lagoon aquarium for this. Um, we've not done one yet. And I think it might be an interesting thing to do. So we've got the basic sort of like lagoon tank that actually wouldn't be that bad if we put it there would it um i'm not sure that would only fit eight in it um so let's just double check so the coral would take up doesn't take up any space ah it must work like a decoration instead it just requires five light. So that's interesting. Needs needs very good water quality. And then 
We're currently researching the crab, and that requires two space. So we could just do a really small, like, aquarium here, which I think would look quite nice, especially if it was, like, opposite the toilet, like that. Um, let's just get that researched. So, yeah, if we was to put it here... Obviously, the space around isn't ideal. Um, but I think it would work. I'm going to put it there for now. We're going to try something. We're going to try something a little different now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, so I'm going to sort of give you a little demonstration of the pumps I've been talking about now. Um... The way we're going to do this is we're going to get that pump. We're going to just use this small one for this one aquarium. Um, but obviously, I will show you differently. So you place it down and you select the tank that you want it to be linked to. Um, so we're going to, first of all, put the lights on this aquarium because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, and then we are going to get that coral. And we're going to place the coral in the aquarium. Now, this is going to be very much you know like a very sort of like unique aquarium really um, because of the way that we're building it I'm gonna put the food for the um, for the coral in here because it's very close by I think efficiency um, is, is it'll be efficient enough that the, they'll be able to come in here and walk over to it now the thing we've got to do now is get the heat and get the um, water quality up so um, do we go with a small combi? That's enough. That's got it. That's got it golden, ladies and gents. Um, you might find we'll need a protein skimmer on this though when we start adding other stuff. Um, but we're not going to add too much in here. We're going to very much just go with coral and some smaller animals. But um, yeah, for now that will do. I just wanted to add something that was a little bit unique um, in the middle. That what didn't have walls or stuff and you know they could see around every single angle of it when we get these crabs done i think we'll definitely get the hermit crab in there as well uh jacob has leveled up so let's think about what we um need from him at the moment so if we was to yeah he's it would be best to do the feeding because he would get more from it um so we're gonna update the feeding ah that's something i need to do because we will get negative feedback uh, for not housing this stuff so let's just stick that in there you kind of have to stick this in a room um, so you'll find when we really start changing the way the filtration is done in the aquarium I will build big rooms like here like in the middle um, cover the outsides with seating and stuff but inside that's where all the pumps will be uh, we'll start moving all of the boxes over in with them because it's just it just a more efficient way of doing things basically um, so for now we will just place a door um, we'll place the door there because we don't particularly need to get round um, the other side so yeah we'll just place the door like that but uh, yeah you have to keep them housed because if your guests can see your filtration and stuff it will um, have a negative prestige uh, effect on your aquarium basically so right we've got the coral we've got this tank going we've got this tank going um, how much room do we have in here quite a lot actually um, I think I'm going to get another panther grouper because they're very good for research. Um, we're going to need another cave, so let's get that done. We'll just stick it the other side, I think. Uh, aesthetically, that looks quite nice. Uh, it's pleasing on the eye. So, yeah, we'll get another one of those because they're very good for the research um, points that we obviously need to be unlocking things. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we'll just get that in there. And they're a good prestige fish as well because they're one of the bigger sort of fish and one of the bigger items. So, 
Yes, nice, nice, nice. It's coming along all right, ladies and gents, isn't it? Um, obviously, I'm leaving some space in here in case there's any other fish that you know we're going to have that don't require lights on their tanks. I'll probably end up putting lights on all of these sort of like tanks eventually later on down the line. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on putting the lights on the tanks that really need it because obviously money is pretty good at the minute. But that's what we're trying to do is raise the cash um, so we can really start doing some more impressive stuff. So you know, like if you're looking at the aquariums, we've got the basic tank the uh, you know wall tanks and then the deep wall tanks that's all we got at the moment but there's some really really cool impressive tanks that we are going to unlock um, at a later date so yeah we just got to keep working towards um, towards all that stuff so we are not far off unlocking the hermit crab we are working our way towards this prestige but it is going to take some time i doubt we're going to level up in today's episode really today was just a um, an episode where i was going to jump back in and check things out make sure everything was working efficiently add a few new things uh show you a few new items now the heat on this is a little low but that's just because this needs sorting out um we can make this more efficient at a later date as well so what you'll find we'll end up doing is having rooms with all the pumps in and it would link this one to an, an, an another an aquarium and then you can't link uh fresh water and salt water though to one of those pumps uh, they have to be separate but um yeah it will just be so so efficient once we get to that point but uh what do we need to do so i'm just going to check so that's pretty much full up that's full up that's oh yeah that's full up um that's full up uh that's full that's got some space which is good to know um and that's pretty much full and yeah okay so we are going to need some new aquariums very soon because we're getting very full up in the aquariums that we have got these toilets are getting very dirty very quickly aren't they right hermit crab come on unlock that's what we want to see our first crustacean that's what we want we got our first freshwater fish a couple of episodes ago now we want our first crustacean just to get things going in this uh, in this so there we go the uh, blue knuckle hermit crab that's going to be coming to the aquarium very very soon um what should we do next so this guy's a bully this guy doesn't like to compete for food and this guy will eat starfish and is a wimp oh god well i guess we've got to start a new aquarium soon so I'm going to go with this guy, I think. No, I'm not. These do require high water quality, but we can achieve that because we've got the protein skimmer. Hmm. I'm going to get this guy. I'm just going to go with this guy for now. I don't know why I was thinking about that so much. Really thinking hard about that, weren't I? Um, anyway, let's get... Uh, let's get a couple of hermit crabs um, in this aquarium. And there we go, our large filter has been done as well. So we only got one more thing left to research, and that's the lagoon tank, um, which actually is different to this one that I've placed in, um, which I will show you, because I reckon we'll go with a, la a lagoon tank at some point. But uh, yeah, there you go. The coral's looking very pretty, and the, the crabs are making themselves at home. Now, the great thing about the crustaceans and uh, you know your starfish and things like that is you don't need to feed them. They basically feed off of you know the food that enters the aquarium and any of the waste basically so you don't have to worry about food you just have to make sure the water quality is a-okay and um yeah away you go basically but uh they're, they're a they're a cool little um they're a cool little thing to have in some of the tanks um they're they're great to add to some of the other tanks as well uh if you've got the space you can't add them with certain animals i think the more eels for instance eat crustaceans so you wouldn't be able to add them uh in there but for instance, if we had a couple of spots in one of these tanks, we might be able to. No, we don't. We've really uh, used up all the space, haven't we? So, yeah, that's why I thought we would make that one. But uh, where are we at? Right, the temperature is really low. I'm actually thinking of adding another filter, another heater, just for now, because this keeps this keeps happening. We've got more than enough staff. I'm sure we have. One, two, three four we got four members of staff and we can't stay on top of stuff like that that is really surprising um 
So where do we go next? Prestige is looking brilliant. Uh, we've unlocked the Lagoon Tank. That's great. But yeah, Prestige, it's nearly there. Maybe we will. Maybe we will unlock that before today's episode is out, ladies and gents. Who knows? Um... I have no new fish to add at this moment in time. That's the trouble. So I'm sort of stuck now. Um, just hoping that we can carry on cruising through. We've got nothing to research at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're a little bit stuck. Um, I am going to probably consolidate some of these tanks uh, down into one. Um, I think... This one and this one could probably be consolidated down into one big aquarium. And I might think about doing that um, at a later date. I think this has got, um, it's got a flame fish in it. They just don't like to be with their own kind. In this one, doesn't have that, does it? Um, but I think we've got a bully. And they're, they're wimps, are they? No, oh, no. We could we could put all of that. We could put all of this in one big tank. I'm actually thinking about doing it. I'm thinking about doing it, ladies and gents. It's just one big tank right here at the beginning. I think that'd be quite a quite a crowd pleaser. We could do it like a corner tank, so it would come out quite far. I think that could be quite the crowd pleaser, but um, we'll have to wait and see. So what we got? 15 and 14. Okay, so 29. So we need a tank that can house 30 spots, and we would be able, able to put all that in one tank. So yeah, it's definitely doable. Definitely doable. Um, let's Let's pause it. Let's pause it while we do this. Now I'm thinking a corner tank. I think a corner tank would look really cool. And I'm gonna go with a deep corner tank as well. So the smallest the smallest deep corner tank would be big enough. That's really interesting. That would be big enough to house all that. Um so we could put that in and still have another aquarium there if we so wished. We could just set it back a little bit. Okay, so let's just put that there. So yeah, 36 spots. That's amazing. I didn't realise that it was such a difference. Um, let's start transferring then all this over. Obviously... Don't worry about the fish being unhappy. We're on pause. That's one of the reasons why I do pause it as well, is um, because you can just kind of like do all this stuff um, in your own time. There must be a quicker way of doing this, by the way, as well. I haven't found it yet, but there must be a quicker way of doing it. Right, there we go. Um, I am simply going to delete this and this because we're going to go with bigger pumps, I think. So let's um, delete that one. And then let's delete that one. Okay, nice. So, um, what's the matter with him? Water temperature. Right, yeah, we're going to have that for all the fish, basically, aren't we? So let's, um, let's delete this, 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 and this. Let's move all these people out of the way while we uh, while we work on this basically so let's move this into place so we're gonna go we are gonna go I'm gonna just set it one forward because you need steps for uh, these larger aquariums so let's put that like that and then we are going to put our little thing right there tucked away that's quite nice um, and then we're going to have to move this back a bit, so let's work on doing that. Boom. There we go, that's a lovely job. Um, so we can move all this back here. Put the food together. Um, and then put this and this here. And then I guess we should just run this wall across. We might put a tank in there at a later date, but for now I'm just going to do this 
do this one. So as we walk in to the aquarium, that's the first tank you're going to be met with. And then you've got the other one to the other side. We might have to open it up a little bit. We might have to redesign this ever so slightly uh, just to open up a bit of space at the front. But um, yeah, I quite like that. Uh, so let's get the filtration sorted out for this aquarium. So do we... What do we need as far as filtration? 36 on the heat. We could probably get away with a... We could probably get away with a combi or two. Just the one. Okay, would that would that be in the case? I'm going to rotate it so it's flat across the back. I thought we might have needed a bit more than that, but obviously not. And we've still got space for a few more fish, should we wish to put them in here. So, um, I think we're going to go... I think we are going to go... with... Uh, I want to make it look nice. So, how about, we do a little bit of this. There we go, that will do for now I think. When we start unlocking other bits and bobs later on down the line, we can add a few more bits. Um, I wonder if there's any like decorations down here that might look nice. What about a shell? If we added a nice shell to the aquarium. Mm, no, I don't really like that. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to add, because you'll be fine in here with this lot, I'm going to add a crab. To that aquarium as well so the water quality as you can see needs to be a lot better uh, to have a crab in here so what we're going to do to do that to achieve that is we're going to add a protein skimmer and what you're going to see is the water quality went up massively jumped up a huge amount because the protein skimmer will um, you know from from what I've read obviously they just remove stuff from the water that these fish obviously wouldn't be able to have uh, you know that they and you know they wouldn't find it in the wild but it needs to be cleaned out of the water obviously there's lots of chemicals in the water the you know from the mains and stuff that obviously go into aquariums so there we go that's that done which is nice like we've we've changed up a little bit there we've just consolidated the aquarium and We'll get good views and good numbers on that one because people are going to walk in and see lots of stuff in one tank. Um, and as you can see, look at all of that prestige going crazy, ladies and gents, um, in that first aquarium as people walk through the door. And this is what you want to try and do is you want to get as many species in each one of your aquariums as well, all with different levels of like rep and research and ecology because they're going to look at that one tank for a little bit longer and each tank will then build up um, its own little bit of prestige. Now, we are sort of at the half hour point, but I don't feel like we've done enough in today's episode to warrant me stopping. Uh, Kaito has got another point. We're going to do basic feeding just because that seems to um, match the personality. So we're going to go with that one. Um... Okay, we are really cruising with the rep now, with the prestige. Uh, we are about to unlock the fox face rabbit fish. So, I'm going to just get the next fish researched. And I'm going to do the longhorn cow fish. We're going to go here as well because Lexi has leveled up. And we're going to do feeding uh, for Lexi as well. And then I think I'm going to finish today's episode um, by maybe do you know what no i think i'll save it for next episode i'll save the uh the rabbit fish for next episode but what we will do the way we will finish today is we will start just deleting all these bits out because we don't need these because we're going to really be so much more efficient um going forward and we're going to use the walls instead um we have this here we could open up a lot of room uh here but i'm just going to leave it for now but, um, yeah, that was the only bit I need to do. I thought it was going to be loads. There's me going, yeah, we'll do this because, you know, that's efficient, isn't it? But, no. Stupid me. Um, we are. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Come on. 
unlock this before we leave today's episode ah oh, lovely job there we go we are now ranking up ladies and gents we're going to be ranked five as you can see prestige for the next one is a long way off but uh yeah there we go we can finish today's episode with that i think so next episode you can look forward to all of the bits and bobs in here starting to get researched and us taking a look at how some of this can be added to the facility so um we will leave it here. We will completely leave it here and we'll pick up at this exact spot next episode. My friends, do let me know if you've enjoyed this one. Um, I'd really appreciate to you know, hear your thoughts on the series. I know a lot of you are enjoying having it on the channel. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Bell notification button to never miss an episode. You'll find my uh, socials and my Discord in the description box below. Feel free to go and follow those to stay up to date. My friends, until next time, you make sure you stay an extra. And I'll see you real, real soon.